Hey guys, if you are search how to install GPT Engineer and how to use GPT Engineer, it means this video for you. Hey everyone, welcome back to AutoGPT Tutorials. We've got a super useful video lined up for you today. Are you interested in creating your own AI assistant using GPT Engineer? If so, you're in the right place. In this step-by-step -step tutorial, we're going to guide you through the process of installing and using GPT Engineer to create an AI assistant. From installation to configuration, we'll break down each step so it's easy for you to follow along. By the end of this video, you'll have your own AI assistant up and running. Exciting, isn't it? So, without further ado, let's jump right into it. First, you go to GPT Engineer GitHub repository page, link available in the description. GPT Engineer. Specify what you want it to build, the AI asks for clarification, and then builds it. GPT Engineer. Follow the usage instructions and install GPT Engineer. See the example demo video, how to use GPT Engineer, after install GPT Engineer. So let's move to installation process and start installation. First install stable release GPT Engineer using this command. So I open my Visual Studio Code Editor. Open new terminal. Open command prompt. And create a new Python virtual environment using this command. Conda create name pipe python equals 3.11.3 .3 and enter now. Activate this environment using this command. So I copy this command and paste now. My new virtual environment start now. Next, I will install GPT Engineer Stable release version. So I go to GitHub page and copy this command. And paste in my terminal. After install stable release version, move to next step. Copy this command and paste in my terminal. And clone this GitHub repository using this command. This Git repository download in my system. Next copy this command and paste in my terminal and move to new GPT Engineer folder. Next install all requirement dependencies using this command. So I copy and paste in my terminal. After install all dependencies, set your OpenAI API key. So first go to your OpenAI account dashboard. Go to account tab view API key and create new API key. Copy this API key and set in your environment. Set up your API key using this command. So I copy this command and paste in my terminal.
and paste your API key. Sorry, I not saved my API key, so I create a new API key. and paste my API key here. If you use Mac OS, then you use export OpenAI API key. But currently, I use Window OS, so I use set command for my API key. And set my API key. Next, you can create a new empty folder inside in your repo using this command. But currently, I have a default projects folder in my repo, so I don't create new folder if you don't have this folder, then you create now. In this folder, I have an example folder, and in this folder, I have a prompt file. So if you don't have this file, then you create now. Next, copy this command with your folder name and paste in your terminal. For example, I have projects slash example folder, so I choose this folder name. But you choose your own folder name. Next, you go to your prompt folder and set up your prompt for your application and software you want to build it. For example, I edit and set new prompt like. We are creating an AI assistant in Python using OpenAI API key and create GUI in Streamlit and save your file. Next run your application using this command, so I copy and paste in my terminal with my folder structure. In my projects folder, I have example folder, so I input this folder name. You need to clarification your application. So read all question and input your own clarification based upon your requirements. I need a simple question answer AI assistant, so set my simple clarification. After input all your clarification enter and run your program. My application code created, so I using these command and run my AI assistant application. This very useful if you don't know how to run your this program. First install OpenAI and Streamlit and run your main file using Streamlit. If you run this code directly then input yes otherwise no, so I input no. Give your feedback using input Y or N command. Next, you go to your workspace folder and see your created data and application files. For example, in my case, I create an AI assistant application. So these all my application files in Python. So I open my file and set my OpenAI API key for my application. After save my OpenAI API key, I will run my new created AI assistant application. Open a new command tab. And open my GPT engineer folder using CD GPT engineer command. Next open my example folder using cd projects slash example command.
Next, I will open my workspace folder using cd workspace command. Next, I will install requirement dependencies like OpenEye and Streamlit using this command. Pip install OpenEye Streamlit and enter now. After install my dependencies, I will run my main application file using streamlet run main.py command. My AI assistant application runs successfully. So you input any questions and get answer. And you go to your GPT engineer folder and open your project file and open example file and open your workspace and see all your created application files. So you use these files and edit and run your program. All right, folks, that brings us to the end of our tutorial on how to install and use GPT engineer to create your own AI assistant. I hope you found it helpful and easy to follow. If you have any questions or run into any issues, drop us a comment below and we'll do our best to help. Don't forget to like this video if you found it helpful and share it with others who might benefit from it. If you haven't already, make sure to hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you won't miss out on our future tutorials. Thank you so much for watching this video.